Hello there, and welcome to the Dwight Travel Agency. I'm your travel agent for the day, and I'm here to help you book your summer trips. But before we get into that, I wanted to give you a few updates on what's been going on right here at home in New York, which is just as exciting as any travel destination. We were delighted that the International Food Festival came back in February after a two year hiatus. It was a delicious culinary journey around the world hosted by our parents' association. The only thing missing was a passport. During Staff Appreciation Week, we celebrated the incredible dedication, tireless work and internationally renowned expertise of our faculty and staff with generous help from the Parents' Association. As the saying goes, home is where the heart is and take it from me, I'm a travel agent. To close out the year, Riverside Campus held a safari themed festival for our families hosted by our ECD Parents' Association and tickets sold out. Needless to say, the party was wild. Our fifth graders shared their year-long projects with us at the recent PYP exhibition, where they demonstrated their knowledge and understanding of their chosen topic related to the IB theme of sharing the planet. It was like taking a tour around the world without ever leaving home. We also celebrated our 10th graders, who showcased the deep knowledge they acquired and skills they've honed throughout the Middle Years program by presenting their personal projects like we took a trip into their minds. No visa needed. And we were delighted that the Grade 6 Leadership Dinners returned under the mentorship of restaurateur and Dwight alum, Jacob Hatcher-Georges, class of 2002. The students were guided in their process of setting up their own pop-up restaurants in the quad, where they took their guests on an international culinary journey. And last but not least, our mock trial team had two consecutive wins in the New York State Bar Tournament. Now that's a real accomplishment. Well, that's all the updates I have for you. But now, let's take a look at some of the bookings I have for this summer's travel. Aloha. Welcome to the Dwight Surf School. I'm so stoked you're here. And before we hit the waves, I've got a few updates regarding our performing and visual arts that I'd love to tell you about. Cowabunga. First, our totally tubular Dwight School's Global Concert brought 180 students from all over the world to New York for a week-long music festival. The students had a great time touring New York and bonding through rehearsals before they performed their musical masterpiece at the beautiful Frederick P. Rose Hall at Jazz at Lincoln Center. Talk about hanging 10. We also enjoyed gnarly performances by students in grades 1 to 11 during our spring conservatory concert. It was a lively show, just like the waves out here. In the Winter Theater Showcase, our grade 11 students performed pieces inspired by world theater, and our grade 12 students performed original solo pieces. Our upper school performed multiple sold out productions of Gypsy. The talent was bigger than a swell during El Nino. Our middle school students also put on a great show. In their middle school play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. I was psyched about our art exhibitions. Our lower school winter art exhibition, middle and upper school winter art exhibition, senior visual arts exhibition, and spring art exhibitions were awe-inspiring and deep, like surfing a barrel in a rip current. Finally, our IB film showcase was a groundswell. We transformed our quad into a movie theater to show the short films created by our students in grades 11 and 12. Some of them have even received awards and honors in major film festivals, just like the awards some of our best surfers win. It's been a wonderful year of performing in visual arts, as smooth as glass. But I can see you're excited to hit some gnarly surf. Let's get out there. G'day mates, welcome to the Dwight Down Under Animal Tour. Now before I take you on the tour, I wanted to give you a quick update on what our fellow explorers have been up to off campus. Dwight's varsity rugby team recently completed a training trip to Ireland. It was a top-notch experience diving into the culture of rugby as well as sightseeing. Apparently the trip worked because their extra efforts paid off this season. 
upper school students visited the Wiser School for Girls in Kenya, which our school has been supporting since 2009. They also got to take a tour of the local region and go on a safari. If they had booked with me, they would have seen kangaroos, but I have it on good authority that they saw elephants and a pride of lions. Gus would be proud. Crikey, our fifth graders went for their first overseas Dwight trip to visit Dwight School London. They met their peers, toured the school and came back with a better understanding of global citizenship. I know for certain they had a blooming good time. We also had the grade four trip to Washington DC as well as the grade eight trip to NASA space camp. We were also very excited to introduce our first ever International Dwight School Sparkathon. This weekend long competition invited students to apply their innovation and collaboration skills to come up with solutions to tackle plastic pollution, helping to save our coral reefs. Sounds like they were thinking like true Aussie outbackers, bold, creative and resourceful. So that's the lowdown on what our friends have been doing lately off campus. Now let's get out there and explore the outback. Grab your Akubra and let's get going. We're going on walkabout. Guten Morgen. Welcome to Dwight Mountain Ski Chalet. I'm sure you're all excited to hit the slopes, so let's not waste any time. But before we get you all outfitting your skis and snowboards, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of the achievements of our student athletes from the past year. Our girls varsity swim team had an incredible season, making a big splash in the ISAL championship and skiing to second place in the ACIS championship and fifth in NYSEs. Just like a reverse ski mogul, they made their way to the top. Our fencing team also had a great run, going undefeated and skiing circles around their opponents with double digits. Our boys varsity basketball team made it to the ACIS playoffs championship game and the quarterfinals of the Nice State Championship Tournament. And our girls varsity basketball team secured the fourth seed in the ISAL playoffs, won the quarterfinals and just fell short in the semis but they all made sure to leave their mark. The spring season was full of thrilling wins as well. Our number one seed boys volleyball team was a regular season co-champion. They were ISAL and playoff champions and they qualified for NYSEs. The varsity track and field team achieved a third place finish in the ISAL. The varsity golf team finished second place in the ISAL. Both the girls' varsity and boys' varsity tennis teams were undefeated ISAL champions. Our boys' baseball team finished the regular season as co-champions, and they made it to the ISAL playoffs. Our girls' softball team had an amazing season. They made it to the ISAL playoffs, won the semifinals, and competed in the championships, finishing second, but talk about a really solid run. So, now that you've heard all of the exciting sports updates, Let's get you outfit in your ski gear and hit the slopes. I'm sure it's going to be an exhilarating day of skiing here at Dwight Mountain Ski Chalet. So what are you waiting for? Let's get shredding. We have truly accomplished so much this school year, and we're so proud of all of your successes. We hope you have a happy and safe summer, and we look forward to seeing you right back here next school year. As always, we wish you the best of luck in all of your summer endeavors. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful summer. summer.